Hello again, everyone. Marcus here. I review stuff today. I'm reviewing the song Move the Industries by the Prisoners. I, are, I just translated this page, so I don't remember what it actually uh, says. Hold on, let me untranslate. Show original. Uh, Muevan las Industrias by Los Prisioneros. Uh, is what I'm listening to today. Sorry, that's my best Spanish. That's the best accent I can do. Um, anyway, uh, as usual, this song comes to you as a request from one of my viewers. If you would like to get your song reviewed, just do what they did. Leave it in the comments, and I'll be sure to add it to my list. Um, and this is the first time I've ever heard anything from The Prisoners. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, just hoping for a good song. I think the person told me that this was like an 80s uh, Chilean synth pop band, I think is what they said. So, uh, kind of know what to expect, maybe going in and just kind of hoping for a good song. So, let's do it. Uh, here we go. Muevan las industrias by los prisioneros. My Spanish is very rusty. I apologize. Here we go. Están paradas esperando a las manos que decidan hacer andar. La neblina las rodea y las oxida y ya piensan en petrificar las industrias. Muevan las industrias. Las industrias. Muevan las industrias. Cuando vino la miseria los echaron, les dijeron que no vuelvan más. ciudad, las industrias, muevan las industrias, las industrias, muevan las industrias.
let me just go ahead and say right off the bat that I love that. <laughs> that was so catchy. That was so fun to listen to. Um, they did a fantastic job on that. I think, you know, it was repetitive in a way that was just very satisfying. Like, I, I think it just, it was so catchy and fun to listen to that. It's just like, yeah, be as repetitive as you want because this is fun. I'm having a great time listening to this. So anyway, let's break this on down piece by piece like we always do, of course, starting with the lyrics. Now, I did translate this page from Spanish to English. Um, and so some of the words may be wrong. You know, things get lost in translation. I'm going to do my best to try to make heads or tails of it. But um, let's take a look. So move las industrias, uh, or in Espan which is Espanol, uh, put the industries to work is the first single from the album uh, Kicking Stones by the Chilean band Los Prisioneros. The album was released on September 15th, 1986. According to Lauren Shaw in her book Song and Social Change in Latin America, the song is a clear allusion to the effects of the economic model implemented by the Chicago Boys. Musically, the song is characterized by synthesizers mixed with drums, the bass, and guitars. I loved that sound. Absolutely. So... Uh, let's take a look at those lyrics. So here we go. Uh, they're standing waiting at their hands that they decide to walk. The fog surrounds them and oxidizes them. And they're already thinking about petrifying. Again, not sure how accurate those uh, those lyrics are, but um, industries move the industries, industries move the industries. When the misery came, they were thrown out. They told them not to come back anymore. The workers didn't leave. They hid. They are being measured for our city. So w the way I'm reading it is that verse one is like people getting up early to go to work, uh, you know, before the sun even rises. They are, you know, the, the toll of doing so kind of takes a toll on their body, right? Um, and then when the misery came, they were thrown out. But then, of course, like when when things go south, it's always the workers who have to kind of uh, who are the first ones to get laid off, the first ones to uh, sort of experience that hardship is kind of how I'm reading verse two here. Uh, industries move the industries. Uh, I'm going to get to the big machine. It's all dark. If I bend your head a little, nobody's going to find out. I remember the fierceness rumblings rumbling and they were crashing in the schoolyard with every rhythm they set they directed the heartbeat from our own heart and i crawled through the wet cement and in my head a thousand regrets are repeated from when the misery came they kicked them out and said don't let them come back anymore again i feel like a little bit is being lost in translation here um but like ultimately again i i i, I feel as if it's about Again, people who work with their hands, industrial workers, for example, um, who are either being displaced or laid off or what have you, uh, but I think who are, are in, to some regard, kind of refusing to comply with that, you know. Uh, I'm going to get to the big machine. It's all dark. If I bend your head a little, nobody's going to find out. And then it just goes on uh, with the industries. So, yeah, not 100% sure. Again, I think a little bit here is lost in translation. Um but this person says that this refers to the paralysis of industry and consequent unemployment that Chile experienced in the 80s under the military dictatorship of Augusto Pino, Pinochet. Pinoche? I don't know how to say that. Um, yeah, I don't know too much about um, you know Cuba's history, so I, I can't really comment on too much of this. Um, again, I, I'm just reading it as as you know those workers who suffer because of certain policies because of greed or what have you again that's that's all i can really parse out of it based on the the sort of iffy translation that that uh, uh firefox i guess is doing here for me but i mean i think regardless of that from what i can parse out i think it's it's well written lyrically i'm sure again for those who who are sort of native spanish speakers that probably is maybe a little bit easier to understand lyrically but uh, I still think, again, with what I was able to get out of it, I'll give it two thumbs up. Instrument, I mean, sorry, lyrically, I thought it was, I thought it was well written, and, and I think it's trying to tell at least some sort of message. Um, as far as the instrumentation and vocals go, I like the vocal style, especially in the chorus, like uh, "Muevan las Industrias," like 
I, I, I like that. It was, again, repetitive in a really, really good way, in a way that kind of just made you want to dance and, and get up and move to it, which I really am a fan of that kind of, like, pop, essentially, music, right? Like, uh, I love when pop music has got something to say. I love when music has something to say in general, but I love when a song sounds like something you can dance to and groove to and, and jam out to, uh, but it still has a message. It's still trying to say something. You know, I love that. Um, and so I think what really just grabbed me, uh, in this song was the instrumentation that the, the, uh, the guitar I thought was, was great, but I think what really dragged me in were the keys, uh, especially those, those like high pitched keys that come in. Um, the song made me think it was going to be something totally different because it started out a little darker and I was like, okay, is this going to be kind of like a, more of like a uh, Depeche Mode, like Nine Inch Nails uh, feeling song, uh, but got very kind of bright and poppy in a way that was, was really fun. So really enjoyed the synthesizer, of the keys uh, in this song. I think it really kind of captured a very fun vibe. So uh, with all that said, both instrumentally and vocally, two big thumbs up. This one was a great, great listen. As far as um, uh, replay value goes, I think this one easily, easily makes my playlist. Really had a great time listening to it. Really wish uh, I was a native Spanish speaker so I knew a little bit more about uh, what the song was trying to say. You know, lyrics are always important to me. But I think with what I got out of it, uh, I still really, really enjoyed it. Two big thumbs up for replay value as well. Overall, a fantastic song and an excellent request. Thank you so much for the person who requested this one. As always, if you enjoyed the music as much as I did, go support the artists. Go listen to their music wherever you can. Not sure if these guys are still around. It looks like they were, you know, uh, at least with this song, they came out in the 80s. So, you know, I'm not sure, not sure if they're still active or uh, even still alive. Um, but, you know, if you enjoyed the music, go support them, you know whatever listen to the music wherever you can if you enjoyed what you saw here uh, on the channel today if you enjoyed the video consider supporting the channel you know like and subscribe and comment with your request because i'm always taking those um and you can even check the description if you'd like to follow me on twitch tiktok or instagram all right guys it's going to be it for me hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you in the next one bye for now